Hello and welcome to Cal Poly's Cal State Apply tutorial series. In this video, we're going to take a look at a great resource called UC Doorways for all California students when checking their A through G designation for their high school and California Community College coursework. There are three ways to use this resource, and we're going to cover all of those in this short video. The first use of this resource is for California high school students looking to verify their high school coursework A through G designation for their application. To find and verify your courses, it is recommended that you search by institutions. You'll take the following steps. First, you're going to type in the complete name of your California high school and hit the search. Please note that it will not find your school if you're using acronyms or if anything is misspelled. Now, if more than one school shows up on the list, go ahead and choose the one that is in the correct city or the correct school. And the next thing you're going to do in order to verify your coursework is to hit the blue course list button here. This will show you all the courses from that school. Please note that it is common to have to pull up an older result list by changing the year of the results in the upper tab here. You will only have to do this if the system notifies you to do so. Now, once your course list is up, you can either scroll through the and take a look at all the results, or you can use the filter course list tool at the top, and you can search for your exact course titles. Let's take a look. For this example, I went ahead and searched for a history class. Now the results come up and I can see all of the history courses at my high school in area A, history, social science. You can see the list below. Now, if you'd like the full information set on this course that you've searched for, you can simply click on the course and it'll show you how it may appear in your transcript for verification purposes. So when I click on that, you'll be able to see if this course has a lab component, what grade the students usually typically take this course. You can also see if the class has been chosen uh, as considered as advanced or IB or honors with the gold star here. And you'll be able to reflect that in your application as well. The second use of this resource is great for our California Community College coursework searches. These schools are often in the system with their own A through G list to verify coursework that you may have taken as a dual enrollment student or directly from the community college while you were in high school. The process is the same as the high school search procedure, but it is likely that you'll have more results to search through, and it may be easier to filter by course title in this process. So in this one, I'm looking at Allen Hancock College. I'm gonna go ahead and search, and there's my community college. So I'm gonna click on that and view the course list. And just like before, a good note to remember is that with community colleges, you are more likely to need to go back to an older agreement display. Typically in the system, it'll take you back to 2013-14, and that's okay that it is not the current year. That is the latest articulation that that community college has with the site, and that is what our application will be honoring. Second, most general courses at a community college may be taken for only one term at the college, but you will receive two semesters of high school credit. For instance, one semester of math at the community college would give you one full year of math credit towards your A through G summary count. Another thing to be of note is when you're searching for coursework that is in language other than English, L-O-T-E or LOTE level is what we like to look at. And you'll see that some of those have a higher LOTE level. And this will indicate how many high school years of credit you may earn from taking that one course. So let's take a look at a Spanish course at Allen Hancock College. In this example, when I searched Spanish at this community college, I received two results, elementary Spanish and intermediate Spanish. For the elementary Spanish, I see a LOTE low level two, which will indicate that if the student took this one semester course, they would receive two full years of high school credit in their area E on their application. If they took the intermediate Spanish and it has a low level four, this class means that if your student took one semester of intermediate Spanish at Allen Hancock College, they would receive four full years of language other than English. So this is really important that you're identifying these courses properly on the transcript. And you wanna make sure that you're getting the total correct amount of semesters or years in your summary. And if you're not, or if you have questions, feel free to contact admissions for troubleshooting this very concern. Let's take a look at our third and final use of UC Doorways. The final usage of UC Doorways is for out-of-state students. Because out-of-state students do not have direct access to their courses through this website, 
they can use this website as a tool to help designate their courses a little better. Please know that it is best to look at your out-of-state course catalog provided by your high school to see what your school considers those courses and what areas they consider them. That is what Cal Poly will be considering if they're not showing up on UC doorways. Now to follow this process, you will click over to the courses tab at the top of the search. Now, when you search by courses, you'll be able to see what other California schools have designated their courses with the same title. When you search for a title here, you will get every California course with that title in the system. Now you can simply click through them and see if any of them fulfill the area that you were trying to add to your application. Or you can do a more refined search by following these steps. First, you'll type in the title of your course and below that search bar, you're gonna click filters. Now, when you look at the filters, you can see all of the areas that are designated A through G and you can click on the one that you would like to consider for that class. Now for visual performing arts, you can also click on more specific filters. Once you've chosen the area that you're trying to see if it will fit and you've made any other further designations, you can go ahead and apply the filters. Now in this area, you can see here, all of these particular schools happen to count culinary arts as a visual and performing arts area F. And in this case, this out-of-state student would feel safe being able to count that class as a visual performing arts for their application. So remember, if you can find a California listing with the same title of the course A through G area that you're trying to add, then you are safe to put that in your application and can move on with the process. Now, next, I'd like to take a look at a scenario where it would not be counted in the area that you're looking for. So for example, I want to see if my computer science class would be counted as an area F, a visual performing arts. So I go ahead and search by courses, computer science, and I get a lot of different results. I can click through them. And again, I may or may not find area F. So in this scenario, I'm gonna apply the filters again. I'm gonna look for visual arts, maybe interdisciplinary arts and apply the filter. Now, as you can see here, when I pull up this list, I do not see a specific course with the exact same title. I only have a few options on this list and they didn't match exactly. Therefore, if you were seeing this in your search results, you would know that your course cannot be used for the area F as you search. You can follow these steps for any A through G area you're considering. If you clear the filters or do a new search, you can apply them to anything else. So if I look up computer science and I wanna see if it possibly can be an area G, an elective, I can search. And now I've found all of the courses that would be an area G. So I know that because I was able to find a sorted list with computer science as the exact title, and designated by a California school with the area A through G I wanted to put, then I can feel safe to put that in my application. We hope that you have found this tutorial on the UC Doorways resource very helpful. If you have any questions on this process or anything to do with the application, we are happy to help. Thank you for watching and we wish you the best of luck.